The trip to tractor supply, I say, was successful. or rather, good afternoon, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Just got out of class. I had a pretty productive class time. I was not as stressed about my test because I finished the flow chart I needed for one of the questions, so woohoo! Um, and then I found me a lucky penny today. It was a double lucky penny. So what I mean by that is usually if you find a heads up penny, it means it's good luck. I've also heard it is good luck if you find a penny with your birth year on it. So if you find one that's heads up and has your birth year, I call it a double lucky penny. Um, I don't find many of those. I do not find a lot of pennies that are 1994, but today I found one in class and I think it's made me very lucky. I got my flow chart done and I had exact change for lunch. I bought Panda, so yeah. I'm doing pretty good. And now I'm about to head to mom's office, eat lunch with her, probably play cards. Uh-huh. I love me some cards. So just want to check in, tell you guys good morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys. My hair is being weird as it usually does. There my dogs. Hi Raider. Hi Sassers. Hi MRL. So finished the class, got lunch with mom, and I think I already told you that. And now I'm home, watch some YouTube, and I think today I'm going to take MRL to Tractor Supply for a little bit of training. We haven't gone in a while, and this time I'm going to take it easy. We're going to mainly work on our focus, and yeah, the dogs are fighting. They're not killing each other, I promise. Guys, will you chill? Um... I'm kind of, guys, excuse you. So I'm kind of nervous, honestly, about this because the last time we went was at Lowe's and that didn't go well. And now I'm worried that he's not going to enjoy it. But I'm bringing along two levels of treats. I'm bringing Tibble and the chicken treats he really likes. And we're going to tractor supply at an off time. And he's been to Tractor Supply before. Um, I may let people pet him just to get him, you know, thinking, oh yeah, going out is fun. So, and I may try to record some of what we're doing. I may not remember to, but you know what? We'll see. So, we're about to head out and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys! Dear Sassers and Emeralds. Riddler's downstairs somewhere. There you go, Pupper. So... The trip to tractor supply, I say, was successful. Um, he was nervous. We hadn't been out in public in a while, so there was that, and there was also strange noises, loud noises. At one point, he accidentally knocked a bunch of heavy metal things over, and that freaked him out. But you know, I got him calmed back down, reassured, got everything put back where it goes. Um, hi, Riddler. Welcome back. I missed you. And. We mainly worked on like focus, sit, a little bit of heel, that kind of thing. Leave it. Um, I let a couple of people pet him. And one person I'm glad that I did because she ended up helping me train him. This woman was really, really nice. Um, she at first wouldn't go up to him because of his vest, but I told her, yeah, I was fine. She asked why I didn't have a second patch on his vest and it's because I don't have one. But apparently there's someone I can call where I could just get another patch. I don't know. But, um, we told dogs. I ended up going with her to the dog toy aisle because she wanted to show me a muzzle she uses on her dog. Which, of course, I don't want to use one for MRL. And then we were looking at the toys and she was like, she would get a toy and she would squeak it or she'd like swing it around. And she had this big green plastic box in her hand and she kind of gently hit it on the shelves. While I worked with him to focus and sit and leave it. And he actually did very well. He really liked this lady. And then again, she also says that she has four dogs. So that's probably what he was smelling on her. 
but she was extremely helpful for him. And I'm really glad that she was there to help. I kind of felt like an idiot for a while, honestly. I mean, like, oh my gosh, she thinks I don't know what I'm doing, but... I mean, I don't know what I'm doing, let's be honest, but... She was really sweet and really helpful, so... Yeah, I think we had a good time. What do you think, bud? Saying I even worked on my healthy. I didn't really like it being on my face, but... Over time, I learned to accept it and that it was okay. Yeah, you did. So now, I'm going to work on yesterday's vlog, and I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey, guys! So there's my sweet baby boy, baby boy, blah, 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 can't talk. He's tired after a long day, huh, bud? Because after training, you got to go play in the yard with Big Brother, and you're just tired. And there's the bigger doggies, all sound asleep. Won't take long for Riddler to come over here to the bed, though. But emerald has got his corner. Fun fact, he actually doesn't snuggle up to me as much whenever we're sleeping. During the day, he loves to snuggle with me. He loves to sit on me, actually. But at night, he usually likes to lay on my feet. On occasion, he'll snuggle right up to my chest, but he likes to be at the foot of the bed. While Riddler over there likes to throw his entire body weight on me. Which actually is kind of comforting. And between his body weight on my body and his body weight on my legs... I'm kind of guesstimating that's about a hundred, around 120 something pounds of pressure, which is quite nice. Because I'm guessing right now he's at least 40 pounds. I don't know. I am horrible at guesstimating weights. <laughs> Question of the day. How much do you think he weighs? No, you don't have to answer that. So, what has happened tonight? Um, I got into my bed for a little bit. And then suddenly a wave of anxiety just went BAM! And just hit me like... What was I even worried about? I actually was worried about something. Because, fun fact, with anxiety, you don't always know what you're freaking out about. And a lot of times it's nothing. But this time it was something. I think it had to do with MRL and training. How... Lately I've been kind of worried about posting anything online about our training because of people jumping down our throats and being like oh you can't train a dog you don't know how to train a dog I mean it's true I don't know how to train a dog but I am learning and clearly so is he um so I have only confided in one person whose opinion I highly value and I know that she won't think I'm a complete failure so yay thank you you know who you are um, and then out of nowhere, for some reason, like, I got really lightheaded and got tunnel vision again. This is the third time this has happened. Um, I know it could be anxiety related, but then it makes me think the second time this happened, it w I did not feel any anxiety, as far as I know. I didn't think I was anxious at all. So, it made me not want to eat. I was really dizzy. So I didn't eat any dinner. I drank some Coke. That was about it. So, empty calories, you know? But, oh well. And then I spent the rest of my time on my phone watching some videos. And then I took a shower. As you can tell by my hair being all flat. Which in the morning, it'll be all poof. Fun times. And now, I'm just super duper tired. I've taken my meds. And now it's time for me to go to bed. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, wh what the crap? My brain just kind of blanks for a minute. So, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day. We'll make this really easy today. What's your favorite color? Mine's turquoise. Um, and there is one thing I will ask if you guys don't mind. Whenever you post your answers for question of the day, you don't have to for this one because it's pretty obvious. Um, could you also maybe mention in your answer what the question was? I am horrible at forgetting what I asked the day before. So, like, I've seen, I know I ask a lot of dog-related questions, get a lot of different dog-related answers, and I was like, wait, what was I even asking? <laughs> so, if you guys wouldn't mind doing that, that would be awesome. 
You do not have to do it for this one because this is really easy. What is your favorite color? And I would think that, you know, you're telling me colors for a reason. But from now on, if you can't, if you forget, that's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. It's just easier on my lovely brain. So put your colors down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Ridner. Good night, Sassers. Good night, Emeril. I'm so proud of you today, bud. You did so good. Yeah, you did. And we'll just continue to grow and improve, won't we, buddy boy?